target sighted. Engage ninja stealth mode. Load. Armor piercing hives for the sure again. Oh my oh oh, Shintaru. Infiltration successful. I'm going to capture the enemy base. Surrounded. Any word on backup? Oh, hello, friend. Did you want your base back? How about a cheeseburger? Be secure. Proceeding with that. Toshio, stay determined. Mission failed and I'm critically wounded. Looks like it's gonna replace another one of my limbs with a cybernetic can opener. That's fine, but I still don't have a straw to open my juice box. Welcome back to the channel, guys, and it's a new month, so that means new secret missions. We've been given a special task from HQ. Enemy tanks from the future have swarmed the battlefield. It is our job to take them down and secure victory for our forces. We've been ordered to maintain radio silence, so I've been forced to internally monologue using my talking bear buddy pal. His recording software is less than optimal. That aim was potato. The trick with stealth operations is to only expose your tank after you've reloaded the cannon. Boom. Chin shot or something. Sayonara, comrade. Here's another tip, free of charge. Binocular view shows when your turret has cleared the terrain, so when you're peeking over a ridge line, you can expose the absolute minimum of your tank to the enemy. This can mean the difference between victory and defeat, especially in long-range engagements, where gun elevation can put the tip of the barrel just above a ridge line, while the rest of your tank lies stealthily invisibly concealed tank baby stop breaking radio silence what you're luring them to our position good tactic tank baby we've got him in an engine fire the next shot should take him down boom barbie crew good job tank baby words coming back from HQ the mission was a great success. Oh, look at all these medals they gave me. And what's this? They've requisitioned me a straw for the juice box. Apple cider, you will soon be mine. What's high fructose corn syrup? The straw is broken. All hope is lost. This next mission may be my last. All right, enough of the silly voices. <laughs> So, this me next match is going to get crazy, but uh, before we get into that, we're going for Step Spider, so our goal is to get a kill on a tank that's one battle rating higher than ours, or more, and then win the match. This is our third Step Spider special task of the day. We just got lucky with purchasing our special tasks, 
And in case you aren't familiar, a special task is something you purchase from the war, band, war Bond Shop with the points that you acquire by completing daily tasks. And with enough medals, you can unlock special items in the shop later on, including this month the M10 for the British, which was taken off of the tech tree. It's no longer being sold in the store, so this is one of your few chances to get that vehicle. Highly recommend you check it out. So, our goal, we've intentionally up-tiered ourselves to 5.0, and BAM! We take out that German SPG for the completion of the first part of our task. Now we just need to win the battle, and uh, getting kills at 5.0 or even you know, 5.7 with the GNU2 is very possible. This thing can take out Tigers from the front. It can even handle an IS-1 under the right circumstances, but they're a sticky foe. Their armor is very difficult to get through, but if you get just the right angle and they're, hang and they're uh, facing you like that, you can get lucky. So we managed to take that guy down. And we're really going through the ammo at this point, popping over the ridge like we did in our last video. Or I should say, the uh, last mission that I showed you guys. Just peeking over, taking a shot, and backing off. Our armor is definitely not capable of taking hits at this battle rating, so we don't want to expose ourselves more than necessary to enemy fire. So far we've been able to get great success, and I got a random aircraft kill. Was that with artillery? Or maybe that was with an airplane that I flew out earlier. This is Arcade, and I'm not showing you the whole match, because, well, that would just take too much of you guys' precious time. But like I said, this match gets crazy, and we're racking up the kills with the Chinu 2. We're sitting near the top of our team as a 3.7 in a 5. 5.7 battle rating match, so not bad at all. But this is arcade, so it's a little bit easier to perform when the gun's telling you generally where your round is gonna go. But for those of you that have played arcade a lot as I have, you know that that indicator is still not perfect, and it takes some strategy to uh, even play arcade effectively especially in an up tier like this. But we use the recently added top mount machine gun. It has like a 20 round magazine to engage this enemy plane. And I got a hit and it's telling me that I'm getting hits even after I've fired, which means we've set him on fire and oh my gosh, can you believe it? We just took down an airplane with our roof mounted MG. <laughs> that is a rare sight indeed. Later on we flew out in a fighter and because there were no enemy fighters in the area, we engaged a soft ground target and managed to pick up another kill. So we're doing quite well for ourselves. And at this point, we're running low on ammunition, but I've already completed my objective. So now I'm playing as aggressively as is reasonable. And my goal is to distract the enemy team. See, I haven't died yet, so I know I have two more tanks. Uh, if I want to back this guy up, but the Chinu 2 is the best tank in this lineup, so if I get wiped out at this point, I'll be a little bit less useful to the team. But then again, uh, you miss every shot you don't take, so we're doing our best to take down this M10. And we have, at this range, somewhere in the area of 100 millimeters of armor pen, but yeah, let's just pretend his 50 millimeter plate is enough to just bounce those off. Why not? <laughs> so two shots ricochet when, uh, you know, I feel like maybe they shouldn't have, but, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not my job to say. It's just my job to do or die. And speaking of which, we're out of ammunition for our main gun, but we're Japanese. So we're charging into the fight, trying to get the enemy's attention, uh, mark targets, distract enemies with our MG, just do anything that we can to contribute at this point. Uh, the enemy 
capture point is swarming with enemy tanks at this point, and we need to capture that. If we're gonna win the match, it's just about even. This push is probably going to decide the match, so I'm being aggressive. I'm pushing up in front of my allies to try and, and give them some spaced armor. This Ostwin was a total hero. His is really the victory here. Now, if I had any rounds left, I would have been able to take out that ISU, but like I said, no luck. He hit me in the engine compartment, and you see I'm being an effective distraction here for my teammates, actually soaking rounds. This is incredible, the amount of damage that this little tank has been able to sustain. I even took a few hits before this point, but uh, you know, sometimes with the layout of the crew compartment and the armor value of the cannon breach, you can get lucky with this thing. And inside the turret is mostly cannon breach, so that can be your trick to surviving in this tank. That's one of the reasons that the Chinu 2 actually has better survivability than the larger, higher battle rating Japanese tanks that have the same gun, because their turret has more space in it, so APAG rounds can fragment into the crew more easily. Now again, I wish I had ammunition. It would have been so easy to take these guys down at this point, but allies managed to wipe out the enemy, and we're capturing the point. Can you believe we've survived this long? Like, already, we've got several kills with a 3.7 in this match. We've taken down an airplane with our roof-mounted MG, <laughs> which I think it's like a 7.7 7 or something like that. 7, 6, it's really, really small caliber. But we managed to get a kill with it. We're restocking our ammunition. We're repairing our tank. We're holding the point. I can't believe we've survived this long. So we see more enemies on the map drop artillery. And at this point, we're just waiting for the repair. And I can't believe how this match has gone. It's been absolutely wild. This is one of those matches where you just want to show everybody online what can happen. So we're playing aggressively. Again, we're sacrificing our body for the good of the Emperor. <laughs> and uh, we see Tracer Fire. We know where that enemy tank is. We come around the corner. It's a Chaffee. We put one into his shoulder, and it just gets a miracle bounce off of him. But our allies pounce on him like... Uh, like piranhas and take him down. And that first stupid that came around the corner, he really messed up. If it was just him, he would have been in serious trouble, but luckily there was a swarm of allies to back him up. That uh, poor M24. <laughs> uh, a round comes in over our shoulder and I have no idea where that came from. I'm not focusing on that at this point. That was even an ally. But now it looks like the match is ours. We get a shot on that uh, French light tank. And one more should finish him off. An ally plunks one into his turret, but his turret crew was already dead. And there we go. One more round, takes out the driver, wipes out the tank. So, that was an incredible match. You know, at this point, I just can't believe how lucky I got. <laughs> you know, sometimes skill is important, but uh, equally so, luck. And even in a game like War Thunder, you can get lucky. And it has nothing to do with the RNG. You know, sometimes things just work out for you. And to top it all off, we come around the corner and we take out that M10. The same one, I think, that was giving us so much problems before. We put one right through the add-on track armor and the upper front plate. Wipes out everything in the tank. All in all, a satisfying match. A very rewarding way to accomplish Step Spider. Can you believe it? Seven tanks and two aircraft in a 3.7 out of 5. I think that was a 5.3 match, but maybe you guys recognize some of the battle ratings of the vehicles. I was a little bit more busy just trying to uh, line up shots and survive. So all in all, a fantastic match, and we're working our way toward French ground forces, <laughs> CPT. We bought our way in, so we don't need those medals, but it's, it's nice to see things like that. All in all, as I said, very rewarding, lots of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the match. Hope you stuck around through my silliness at the beginning of the video, and uh, well, have a nice day. Bye-bye.